In the previous lesson, we saw how to download data from CRISP. Now we see how to manipulate the data. So notice that column 0 is the date. So let's put date here. Column 1, according to this thing right here, is Dell's price. Column 2 is Dell's return. Column 3 is Dell's return without dividends, which I'll just call RTX. Google price. Google return. And then finally you have Google's returns without dividends. Now that you have done this, we can delete these rows so that it can look nicer. Delete those. Delete that row as well. And now let's make the columns nice and pretty. You go to Home, Format, and then we say Auto Column Width. So now what we have is, in a previous lesson I showed you how to freeze the top two rows so that it becomes easy to see. Highlight those two rows, go to View, and then we freeze panes right here. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to calculate Dell's uh, uh, dividend yields and dividend. Let's actually do it right next to Dell's data. So I'm going to insert a row here. Click on the gray cell over here. Insert. Do it one more time by saying Control Y. And now we have Dell dividend yield. And that's Dell's dividend. And of course, we can make these two things look nicer by auto fit column width right here. The dividend yield is returns are returns without dividends, that's capital gains, plus dividend yields. So therefore, dividend yields are going to be returns minus capital gains. And if I double click now, it should give you all the dividend yields right here. What's the actual dividend? That would be dividend yield in that period multiplied with the price in the previous period. And then once again, I double click like this, and then gives you all the div dividends that Dell has paid out. Uh, and that shows you pretty much how to download the data from CRISP. And that's done in the previous lesson. And then once downloaded, how to compute dividend yields and then actual dividend.